Hello everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy and welcome to day 34 of the Learn Reaper tutorial series. Today we're going to be covering classes. So sit down, strap in, and put your drink in a cup holder because here we go. Go ahead and open up a new .rb file. You can save it as classes I already have. What is a class? Well, everything in Ruby is an object. Well, almost everything is an object, and all of these objects inherit traits from the classes that they come from. So, an array is in the array class. A, a string is in a string class. Now, to illustrate this, I'm going to open up a Ruby shell here. Uh, no, no, not Python. I'm going to do the drop-down arrow here, start new Ruby shell, there we go. And I'm just going to type in string here. So, uh, a string a sting uh, dot class name right here class dot name there you go and hit enter and you'll see that string was returned it probably should don't get confused it's not returning this it's just returning the class type now let's do it with an array uh, one two three one two three dot class dot name and so these this uh, dot name is a method within this class that whenever we call it, it will return the class type, which is array in this particular case. But we're going to create our own class and we're going to call it warrior. As we come over here, I'll show you this again. I somehow, I overwrote my lambda.rb file because uh, I just, I just do these things sometimes without thinking. So how do you write a class, a new class? And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna write class here, obviously, as you see there, and we're gonna use camel case for the naming convention. So you don't use the underscores, like we're not gonna write the underscore warrior because that's not how it's done. Uh, camel case, and, and you'll understand what I mean by uh, camel case because you'll see that there's a hump. So camel case is spelled like this, like, uh, you can see that from the C, there's like humps, right? It looks like a camel. I don't think I need to explain what a camel is, but uh, we'll just get rid of that there because we're just gonna use one single word for this class. We'll just do it as warrior. But know that if there's more than one word, you need to keep them together and make sure that each individual word is capitalized. So I could say warrior class right here, huh? But I'm not going to, so. Now we're gonna initialize the objects in our class. So this acts as a slap in the face to say, hey, wake up, sillies, let's get to work. So we come down here and we're gonna create the method initialize. Initialize, initialize like a power. And then we're gonna create our arguments. And I don't remember what arguments I did. Let's see, did I do name? We'll just do this from scratch. So we'll do name, uh, we'll do type maybe? Uh, no, uh, race, here we go, race. And we'll do uh, dexterity and strength. I think we did strength in the test. Now, I, I, when I wrote this, I wrote it for uh, the book, the Ruby book that I'm releasing pretty soon here. It's gonna be sweet. So make sure to check that out. I'll put a link below. Uh, strength and dexterity. Dexter, dexterity <laughs> down below. Okay, so now we've created these parameters. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these parameters and we're going to create instance variables. So anytime that we use these, whenever we create, if you remember when we create methods with uh, parameters, we can plug those in whenever we create an instance of that method, uh, the calling method. What we're going to do here is we're going to create, because there's going to be multiple warriors, we have to make sure that each individual uh, instance of that warrior is separate. So how we do that is we start with an at symbol and then we set it equal to name and name. Okay, so now the at name is equal to the parameter name and this will all make sense very shortly. Then we do race here and we're gonna set race equal to race. Race is on in, here comes pride in the backstretch. Heartache, there goes my content ID. You guys know who that is? Put it in the comments if you know who that is. Uh, oh, let's come back here. Strength. Why does that look funny? Strength. And then we will do dexterity. De DD. Get out of my laboratory. Dexterity and dexterity. Uh, the thing about coffee is that if you overshoot, 
it actually doesn't help. So come back down here, get rid of that code. There we go. Yes, perfection. We're going to create a method within our class where we can call an about. So we're going to set the name and race and strength and dexterity of each individual warrior. And we'll, we'll call these player one, player two, player three. We're going to, they're each going to have their own name, their own race, their own strength, blah, blah, blah. And we want to be able to figure out what those are. So what we do is we create a method that will puts out each one of these instance variables. Again, I'm touching the screen because uh, you can see that. So uh, come down here and we're just going to define about, okay? And then we're going to put, we'll go. And what are we going to type? So we're going to say uh, the name. So imagine if we say what and about. So the first thing you would say is, um, uh, so our warrior name is going to be um, whatever, raise, right? So raise is the one that we used before. So we'll do raise is a warrior who has, who from the blank race, who with a strength of this and dexterity of this. And that would be about whenever you say, what is it about player one and two? Now, again, if, if this is all stretching a lot, I, I guess I could come back over here and you'll see. So um, we'll come back, don't worry. Okay, if we come over here to the finished one, you can see that we're gonna put Raze, because we've named our character Raze here, is a warrior from the White Fox clan, right here. And strength is their strength and dexterity is, and you see here, this is where I've put in their strength. Now see here, from the initialize, I have the name matching Rays, the, the clan matching White Fox, and dexterity equals um, their uh, dexterity, so 34. So we're gonna come back over here, and I actually do like the clan name better, because I think it befits, befits, but befits, it befits the, uh, the type of, uh, you know, it makes more sense with, this is kind of like a wow almost uh, category. It fits the topic, narrative? What's wrong with me today? <laughs> Forget it, we move on. Uh, so clan, clan, let's change this back to clan here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put their name, whoa, 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 whoa calm down. We're gonna put their name, but we need to make it the at symbol here because each one is, again, it's the instance variable. So name is from, uh, is, I guess we don't need to say it's a warrior because we know that they're a warrior if we're calling them. So um, we will do, you know what? Yeah, let's do warrior. Is a warrior from the clan clan? And you do need to put clan here afterward because it's going to be giving the name of the clan. And eh, we need that space there. And strength, let's just, we'll, uh, here we go. Strength is, we'll just do a colon there. Call it with string interpolation. And at, and we'll do strength again. And we don't really need to separate these. Uh, yeah, we can. Uh, we'll do dexterity. Dexterity. My spelling is atrocious right now. Uh, dexterity. And why am I typing so loud? Okay, here we go, here we go. Dexterity. I've been, I've been doing these like typing exercises and so my, my, my fingers are still in that mode where it's like, hurry, 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 because there's a timer. And they just, they need to like calm down just a little bit. Come on. Uh, so here we go. That's, that's great. I hope you can see all that. I'll just zoom out for real quick so we can get it all on there. See, now the words are too small. And there you have it. Okay. So that's what I have written. I'll come back in here so we can see a little better. Um, let's go down below, whoop, and we're just going to end this because we don't, we don't need it anymore because we're done. That's all we want it to show us. So now what we can do is we can actually create a new warrior. So we'll come down here below, 